So this is our new in-room sensor. So there's been a lot of in-room products on the market. Um, there's companies like AirThings, Aware, et cetera. There's a lot of different devices, even I think Carrier and a few different HVAC companies have in-room indoor air quality monitors. Now we never wanted to go down the path that everyone else went down. We wanted to sort of go the opposite way, contrarian, and go induct. And then after we did that, we wanted to focus on controls and automations. Well, now we're back to in-room because we realized that we can add specific value in the in-room equation, where now if you're sensing bedroom CO2, we can automate even something as simple as circulation of the bedroom just to keep the CO2 levels at a specific level. So like, let's say not above 1,000 ppm. Or we can put this right next to cooking. So as soon as you're cooking, as soon as particulates are starting to be sensed, that can be an immediate trigger back to an automation. This is also just maybe, you could think about this like a diagnostic tool. So if you had three or four of these, you put them through at a home, maybe you're doing a project, maybe you're at the quoting stage of the project, or you're in some sort of troubleshooting diagnostic stage of a project. You can lay out a bunch of these, collect data, and then use that to make an assessment of what's going on, where the problems are coming from. So in all different ways, it's, it's a great addition to the Haven ecosystem. So what all does that measure? So everything that the Induct one measures, there's a bunch of them read out on this list here, VOCs, CO2, so those are your gases, chemicals, relative humidity and dew point, that's your moisture side of things, PM 2.5, so it's got a particle sensor inside, outdoor AQI and weather. So it's, it's basically everything you would want to measure. Now CO2 is the big addition. We didn't have that in duct. We thought it makes more sense in a room than it does in duct. Because sure, maybe a bedroom where you're sleeping. Exactly. Right, that's where you're really going to have that that and spot. There's typically CO2s elevated where the humans are breathing out the CO2. And so locating the sensor where humans are most active. Bedroom's obviously a place that people spend a lot of time at night. But that could be a living room, an office, somewhere during the day that they want to control their CO2. And so it didn't make sense diluting it through the whole home in the duct. It does make sense in room. So they complement each other. And, uh, and, and I'm assuming these fully integrate with sort of the back end that you're yeah. able to, to do automations based off of these as well. Exactly. So all of our existing Haven software, all the workflows, everything, this is just like a new type of device. We basically took the induct and just sort of incremented on it that this is now an in-room, but it does everything the same that it would with the induct. So yeah. very powerful capabilities that we're adding, which otherwise, if you got like um, something from Best Buy or Amazon, you're not gonna be able to very easily automate based off of those, because it's really hard to get the data out and then into a relay to control an ERV. 